Hey, what's going on guys? It's Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another Illustrator tutorial. Today I just want to cover something relatively simple. I just want to go over how I created this uh, simple kind of mountain logo. I think it looks cool and it's pretty easy and quick to make. Um, this is probably a little bit more for beginners. Advanced users will probably know how to do something like this, but um, for people who are kind of new to Illustrator, and maybe even for some more advanced people, this might have some good tips for you. So anyway, um, let's just jump right in. Uh, let's come over here to our shape tool, grab out the rectangle, and hold shift and alt, scale it up. And so now we have a perfect square. Let's go ahead and grab a corner and rotate it, hold down shift. There we go, that's a 45 degree angle. We're gonna go ahead and scale it up a little bit, holding down shift and alt again. Now what I want to do is hold down Alt and drag it out to the side. And then I'm going to grab this side, hold Alt and drag it out again. Now if you notice I have these green lines popping up and stuff which helps me align things. Those are just smart guides, you can turn those on. I believe in, yeah, smart guides right here. So go to view and then smart guides is right there. Um, but that, that stuff can be very helpful. I definitely uh, suggest people use it. Um, so anyway, so now let's just go ahead and scale these down. Again, I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt so I can scale these without losing the proportions. So I want to make this one relatively small. And then same with this side, just scale this one down. And I would say that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to select both of these and then I'm going to come to my Pathfinder and hit Unite. So that just makes it all one piece. If you don't have your Pathfinder there, which you probably won't because I placed mine there, uh, come to Window and go down here to Pathfinder and just click on that and it'll pop it up for you. So the next thing we want to do is grab out another rectangle. I'm just going to make um, a big rectangle like this. I'm going to bring it up until it aligns in the center. And now I'm going to hold down Shift and select both these items. And now I'm going to come over to my Pathfinder again. I'm just going to hit minus front. So now that erased the bottom and now we're left with this sort of mountain shape with a flat bottom as you can see that's exactly what I did here. Okay so the next thing we'll want to do is grab out our pen tool. Go ahead and change the uh, solid color to white or you can take the solid color off for now and just do a white stroke that can sometimes be a little simpler. And at this point, you can kind of do what you wanted. I just did some little simple highlights like this. Um, and so that's kind of what we'll do again here. Okay, so that's the basic shape there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the stroke off now and just do a solid color. And there you go, just real simple like that. We can come over to the bigger mountain here. Just do some sort of shape or design like that. And you can kind of play with this however you want. I mean, you could do one on that side and then come over here. Maybe do another design like that. Um, then come over this side like this. And just you know play with it a little bit have some fun now obviously I would say this looks better than this but I you know I spent a little more time on this kind of rounded everything out made it how I wanted but you know you can do it relatively quickly and get some decent results um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and then um, I don't like the sharp edges on this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to uh, my direct select tool and just click on the edge and then I'm going to come up here, hit that and it'll round it out for me. I'm going to do that with that edge too. So there, now it's nice and rounded out. It's a little larger than I want, but I'm not going to really worry about it. So um, for this one here, I just chose um, a font that I liked. Um, and this font is uh, Algerian, I think is how you would say that. So uh, let's go ahead and add that. So we'll just type in Colorado. There 
there we go and then I'm just going to scale this up manually until it kind of fits how I want it to I'm not really too worried about messing up the proportions on this because you know it'll still look all right like if you stretch it out it still looks all right maybe not to some people but to me it does so I'm not too worried about it um, so there's that and uh, yeah I just you know use the same font and typed out mountain view estates underneath it um, but obviously whatever you're working on you just replace it with the name of you know whatever it is that you're doing so yeah I mean that's pretty much it guys it's just a real quick uh, tutorial on how to do something that's kind of cool um, and if you guys wanted to as well um, you guys could always cut out these shapes into the mountains so like you could select this and this and then hit uh, the minus front and then now it's cut out for some reason that shape fell behind the mountain there we go but yeah now now it's cut out instead of being um, laid over the top so now let's say you wanted to put this on a colored background whatever color on the background would show through here and you could do that with these as well just you know select it highlight this and then hit minus front so you guys can get really creative with this and just kind of play with it and do what you want anyway i hope this was helpful to you guys and uh, i'm out of here peace